The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. 
Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. We thank, we thank our almighty God because he is our God and he is our refuge. And whatever we need, we find in him. Amen. We bless your name this morning, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you are my Savior. Oh, we are my friend, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
sing your praise, Jesus, and we fall in your presence, praising you, Lord, worshiping you, Jesus, at your feet. Oh, that's where we belong, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that you're my refuge, my comfort, my shelter, my everything. Lord Jesus, you are my everything. And there is nothing that I would need other than you, Lord Jesus. When you are in me, Lord, I am complete, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. You are our everything, Jesus. We acknowledge you, Lord. Yes, my friend, my Savior. More than I can, I could tell, Lord, you are that for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That's my assurance. When I face a battle, Jesus. When I go through storms, Jesus. When I am down, Lord Jesus. That's my assurance that you are my everything. And you're holding me, Lord. So close. So close to you, Jesus. And you will never let me down or fall. Oh, yes, Jesus. Even in my darkest hour, Lord. You stood with me, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Savior, my King, my Jesus, my everything. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There is no one like you, Jesus. Thank you for that assurance that you are our everything, Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. every breath I take, every moment I'm alive on this world, only confidence I have is that there is no one like you. In this whole universe, I cannot find anyone like you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, and I'm fully convinced that there is no one like you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
Yeah. 
He declared you are great. You are the creator of the universe. You created everything out of nothing. When you said, let there be, it came to be. Oh, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. The Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. Our healer, our provider, our sustainer, our protector. Yalla Lohi, El Roy, El Shaddai, El Lion, El Shabbat. This morning we lift your name above all of our name. Let the Canadian know there is no name above Jesus. Let the people know Jesus is the only living God. Let the world know he is right here in our midst. Oh, ura ba 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 ra da le gus. Oh, Father, this morning as we are here on the first Sunday of the fifth month of 2021, the things that are happening around the world. We had no guarantee we will reach this day, but through your eternal love and everlasting mercy, this morning we can say thank you, Dad. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for our Supra family, our parents, our brothers, our sisters, our children, our young people, our singles, our widows, widowers, everyone who died. The jobs, the businesses, their farms, their assets, every day, their career, their ministry, their health, the wealth, the generation. Thank you, Lord, for your protection. Thank you, Lord, for your covering. Even from COVID-19, oh God, you are protected, and you will continue to preserve every nation around the world, including us, oh God, who are under the threat of COVID-19. We know it is coming to an end because Jesus is the Lord over everything, and we ask you to insulate us with the blood of Jesus. No virus can penetrate the blood of Jesus. This morning, as we are here, here are your people with various news. Come to pour your heart in the sanctuary, Father. Bless your God, Father. Thank you, Lord, for the healing upon. Mom Janet Mukumbo's family from the bereavement. Thank you, Lord. Even we are blessed to see Mom, our elder here, Oga, continue to comfort family. Thank you, Lord, for the healing upon our beloved Tina Matron and the family. You will continue to strengthen them in Chipata, O God. Oh, you will bring them back well and sound with a new hope. We pray for any of our house of prayer congregation who are going through various sickness and issues, spiritual, financial, relational issues tonight. This morning we know you are on the throne. You have spoken it the way you said, "Let there be." You have spoken into their needs, and you are stretching out your everlasting arm, and they are leaving the sanctuary completely. Well, and sound, oh God. We commit the territory of Kanini. We arrest the strong men and will lose the Holy Spirit. We pray for our nation, Zambia, the president, the ministers, all the citizen of our nation. We ask you a special blessing and protection, even from COVID-19. Oh God, Father, we pray God's grace and covering us. We are preparing for the election. You will be done, oh God, in our nation. Various nations that are represented in house of prayer. Father, we pray God's blessings upon the Most Jesus. Lord, even we pray for the nation. Nation of Israel, peace and protection. Well, Lord, we also remember the nations where there is no freedom to worship, even truth and spirit. Lord, we pray you will protect the church, you will preserve the body, and you will preserve the servants of God and the saints of God. Because your word says the heart of a king is like a watercourse. You direct the way you want, that you are touching the political, religious leaders, and you're opening door for the gospel. Oh God, thank you, Lord. We come into the rest of the service in your hand. Today we are privileged to have your body and blood, bless your God. Speak to us, speak to us. We pray for many of our congregation, those who are not with us, Lord, due to various reasons, wherever they are, we pray for God's protection. Increase their faith, shake them and quicken them and give them living hope, O oh God. Bless your God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Please take your seat.
Praise the Lord and good morning, church. Amen. Worship team, you can take your seat. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord is good all the time. That is His. If you truly believe and experience, can you give a round of applause to appreciate our awesome, loving God? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You all look awesome, wonderful, full of the glory of Jesus. If you are excited to be in the house of God, can you look at your neighbor, left to right, friend, who is sitting one meter away from you? If he or she is not one meter away, don't look at. Just wave at him and her and say, my neighbor, God bless you. And tell him or her, you are so blessed. I am blessed to see you this morning. I don't know. I have not. I saw, but the Zeno is not looking at his uh, left side. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Bless you once again. Let me welcome you all to this first Sunday of May 2021. Hallelujah. What an awesome God. What an awesome God. Hallelujah. As we welcome everyone, let's acknowledge those who are visiting with us for the first time, except the pastor and the family. I will introduce them later. Anyone here is the first time to attend a Sunday service in house of Would you please stand, brother? Please stand. Pastor Peter, get to the welcome God to give to the pastor and the family. We have a sister. We have a sister. We have a sister. We have a brother. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. We are so blessed to have you. If you received a... Uh, uh, doctor, my elder doctor, just to give a welcome card to our uh, visitors team here from the preacher. We need a five or six that side. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. Uh, may, you can sit. She's bringing. Thank you. We highly appreciate our visitors. You make a great difference in the church. We always say, so if you are just visiting with us the, today, may the Lord bless you. We are honored to have you. We are looking forward to fellowship with you again. Amen. And maybe you are an Intola resident or recently moved to Intola. Past a few weeks and past a few months, you have been searching for a church to fellowship. As a part of the search this Sunday morning, you are in house of prayer. As a house of prayer family, we have a good news. The good news is your search has come to an and we are Bible-believing Pentecostal church, uh, so we will help, help you to know why we are here so that we will be able to serve the Lord together. As you have received a welcome card, so make sure you fill your details. After filling details, don't hand it over everything. Just tear it out of the perforation part. Rest you carry it so that you will know more about house of prayer. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. This morning, we are honored to have uh, uh, Apostle Peter, let me read the other name, Peter Zangasa from Zimbabwe, Harare, with his family and with his team who will be ministering today. Can we put our hands together and appreciate uh, Apostle and also his dear wife, also Pastor Grace Sanghaza, and uh, we, I will introduce the rest of the team when they come here. Apostle and mom and our daughters, welcome to House of Prayer. Welcome to House of Prayer. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Uh, after well, two weeks before, Pastor Peter running a 45 kilometer in 40 minutes, Breaking the, record, breaking the world record, finally, Pastor Peter has graduated with the degree. Amen. <laughs> Pastor, come. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> May the Lord use him as a mighty warrior. You are a blessing to house of prayer. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Pastor. Hallelujah. I don't know. I asked the Zimba uh, sister Agnes today. He dressed differently. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure you will be able to discern before the end of the service. <laughs> Pastor, we are happy. And actually, Apostle came to House of Prayer to minister through Pastor Peter. Apostle also graduated. Apostle and the, both of them. They graduated. Uh, congratulations, Apostle. Congratulations, Mom. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Also, I'm happy to see our, our member, Mr. Piri from Mansa. Welcome, Mansa. Brother, welcome. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Anyone who's been away and here, 
Uh, welcome, amen. May the Lord bless you. God is blessing house of prayer. Tell your neighbor, God is blessing house of prayer. And tell him, God is blessing, you are also blessed. And also, Pastor Jesse, you know why today, this morning, it rained? <laughs> when we came, it was dry. The moment uh, Leonard said, Pastor Jesse, the rain came. Hallelujah. <laughs> we missed you, Pastor. God bless you. We are happy to have This is your home. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So may the Lord bless all of us. House of prayer is blessed. Yesterday, the uh, day before yesterday, I saw a res invoice posted in building committee group by our church secretary, Charles Mono. All the carpet for pulpit is paid and it is bought. <laughs> Hallelujah. The invoice says over 40,000 kwacha. <laughs> Hallelujah. As it is a house of prayer protocol and the family, I will not mention the name, but I want to speak a blessing. One of our family in the house of prayer decided to bless. You know, I will tell you something. Sorry, today I have gone out of way. House of prayer will break the record, building a, ma a beautiful sanctuary without any fundraising. Hallelujah. Thank you, my elder sister, uh, Bridget, agreeing with me. How many of you agree with us? Raise your hand and pray. Thank Lord. Without any fundraising, we will, God will bless the congregation here. So your father, we thank you for that release. And not only the family and everyone who release, financially, spiritually, manpower, ever, legal, everything, bless them thousandfold. Bless them thousand fall in Jesus' name. Amen. We will, uh, my, I saw the post, and somebody's, one of our building committee will be bringing the carpet and leave it in the office up. Once we finish this, we'll only put it back. We don't want to damage. May the Lord bless you. Quickly look at today. Pastor Peter bought a parcel in a wrong day. Hallelujah. I, I think we will give a little extra time for a parcel to preach. Today, there is another good news. Hallelujah. Another good news. I told Leonard, when I am doing an introduction, I need all the pictures of the girl's face in the house of prayer. <laughs> all not married. So I am going to invite uh, our dear son, Dr. Jifa, to come to the pulpit with someone whom he knows, which I have no idea. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, please stand, please stand, please. If you are not jealous, you can stand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. Is it a, please, you, you may sit it. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. I asked, I asked Dr. Jeeva, I want you to think, when did you came to house of prayer? He said he came in the year 2000. That is the time. You can imagine how big he was that time. <laughs> to, that is 21 years before. God blessed this is where it is important we devote our life in the house of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I request my wife, even apostle and the wife and the elder Janet Mukumbo on the duty, please come. Hallelujah. Thank you. I know mom is in Lusaka, isn't her? Mom is in Lusaka. She came up. Thank you. So we just wanted to introduce. Now, if you see, when you go to Jaco Motors to buy the spare parts, you find a lady, not Sairam, is standing there. No need to worry. <laughs> no need to worry. 
there is no need for me to introduce Dr. Jifa, a great pillar in the house of God. Uh, may the Lord bless. And today, Dr. Jifa has brought to us Dr. Mwila Taizia Nam Nambea. <laughs> Dr. Mwila Taizia Nambea. Family, both family met. The requirements, what need to be done, as done. Now they are in the preparation. The doctor, Mwila, come from Lusaka United Church, UCC Church. The wedding, God willing, will be on that side. So for the premarital counseling and everything, they will be starting soon. So we are blessed. Are we blessed? Are we blessed? Doctor, we are blessed. Let's stretch our hands towards these people and speak a blessing. Father, we want to say thank you. Thank you for our dear son, Dr. Zifa, and his fiancée, our precious doctor, Dr. Vila. Father, we commit to them. Thank you, Lord, for this divine plan. As they are preparing for the great day, May the blessing of Jesus be upon them. Spiritual, financial, emotional needs what they needed to start a godly family. You will provide. They won't lack anything, but God's grace is abound. So in the name of Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we bless in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Doctor, I am breaking the protocol. Well, God bless you. My doctor, God bless you. Amen. Please. Hallelujah. Please. And for Dr. Jifa and Dr. Muila and all the family, they are not married. We are not giving them the permission or license to move into the house. No. Dr. Jifa lives with his parents. Dr. Muila lives with her parents. What we are doing is we are giving them a parental permission to start preparing for the day with us knowing they are godly, God-fearing people. Amen. So that is what all the young people need to know. They are not at married. We are giving them so permission to fellowship, meet in an open place. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Dr. Mila, welcome to House of Prayer family. House, Pastor Royenson, Pastor uh, uh, my wife, my son, Pastor Peter, Pastor Jesse, Pastor Tani. You know why we don't get to COVID? Because all we are surrounded by too many doctors. So prayer is blessed with the... Uh, see, the air is blocked by our scientists today, Elder. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. And the uh, rest of the announcement, all please parents, Sunday school uh, are online. And make sure, once again, a clear announcement, all the parents, you, when you go to the House of Prayer YouTube channel, make sure there are lessons for different age group. If your child is six years old, don't tell them to do the work on the teen groups. Please, there is uh, uh, toddlers, there is junior, there is senior, and there is a teen. In all the videos, the age groups are mentioned clearly. So please make sure you show your children with your mobile or tap or your TV with exactly according to a child's age group. But if you have any doubt, you couldn't get, you are free to send me a message, you are free to send my wife, you are free to send Zimba to a message, so we will guide you. May the Lord bless you. Amen. And also, the Wednesday's Miracle Night service, you could see they are progressing, still work is going on. This Wednesday also, we will have a Miracle Night service online. And uh, uh, the one who will be ministering this Wednesday will be uh, Pastor Grace Zangasa, our apostle's wife. Pastor will be ministering. So please don't 
don't miss our online service. Amen. And also, we are happy to see Mom Mukumbo and my elder. We are happy to see God's healing upon you. God's healing upon you. God's healing upon you. And also, please, our prayer, uh, stand with uh, our sister Tina Matcher also in prayer. Yesterday, they had the burial for the son. I met the Lord in Chipata. I supposed to go to Chipata. I didn't go to Chipata because I had taken COVID-19 vaccination. So it had some fever and body pain. That's why I didn't go. I said, Pastor, let me encourage you. I don't force you. Since the government of Zambia has said to encourage, it is wise to take. Don't, I'm not debating your faith. If you are not, if you are fearful, don't take. Pastor is alive over a week. I asked somebody, I said, no, pastor, you take one week. If you are alive, after a week, I will take. Me and my wife is alive now. Hallelujah. Amen. So please, it is important. May the Lord bless you. Other activities, our uh, back of the bulletin, please. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. I'm just rushing fast because of our holy community. Anyone's birthday falls this week, would you please stand if your birthday falls this week? Oh, but Godfrey. How many years, Godfrey? 16, 17? How old are you? I didn't hear. 28. Amen. My sister, my sister. Hallelujah. My brother, ah, today we are blessed. Anyone, those who are married and your wedding anniversary falls this week, could you please stand? We would like to pray for your wedding anniversary. Let's pray for this dear one. Father, we thank you. What an awesome God. What an awesome God. What an awesome God. Lord, you are great. What a wonderful people you are blessed in house of prayer. Great people. Awesome people. Oh, may God bless. Thank you, Father, for this gift to house of prayer family. This week, as you have extended one more year into their lives, Father, I pray all the promises you have promised for this family will be their portion in the name of Jesus. No sicknesses, no affliction, no accidents, no premature death, no calamity will never come to their territory. And we prophesy and speak in the season to reign over every impossibility through Christ Jesus. Their life, their family is blessed with many, many blessed years. They're not only just a blessing into their family, a great vessel and blessing in the body of Jesus Christ, particularly in house of prayer. Bless our God. So we as a pastor, as a family, we declare God's blessings in the name of Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. May God bless you. Let's put our hands together and appreciate. Amen. May the Lord God bless you. That's all the announcements today because of the servant of God. We want to give as much as time possible for him to minister. We have a holy communion today. I am not going to read an extra portion of the scripture for the holy communion today. We will have an extra portion of the scripture reading on next week uh, during the holy communion service all and as we always say those who are born again and you have a confidence you have right to work with God you are welcome to partake the Holy Communion you are visiting with us and in your own church you partake the Holy Communion this morning you are welcome due to the COVID-19 regulations we serve differently we one by one from this side we start one by one you can stand i will give you a, you can show your right hand i will take give you a piece of bread then you are free to pick up a cup of juice then you can go back to your seat and sit if you want but don't partake you can sit and continue meditating the presence of god after everyone picked we will partake together amen let's close our eyes Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Communion, the bread and juice, this table, is not a simple matter. The bread here represents the body of Jesus. The juice in this cup 
represents the blood of Jesus. And we are privileged as the children of the new covenant to partake the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Body and the blood of Jesus Christ. What a privilege. Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Corinthians, he strictly warned the entire church family how serious this business is. He said, Many of you are sick and dead because we ha you have taken the body and the blood of Jesus in an unworthy manner. The Apostle Paul warned us, we must examine ourselves. So we want to ask the Lord, Lord, take one minute to examine our lives. Examine our lives. Thank you. Ask the Lord, through my actions, through my words, through my behavior, through my imaginations, if I have done anything against God which is not pleasing and acceptable to Him, tell the Lord, forgive me. Maybe you have not even given your life to Jesus. This is the best opportunity for you to be. tell the Lord, I want to surrender my life so that I can be partaker of your body and the blood. Tell the Lord, I surrender my life. I am a sinner. From today, I want you to rule over my life. Ask the Lord so you are able to partake the Holy Communion. Tell the Lord, cleanse me. Cleanse my thoughts. Cleanse my imaginations. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. As we ask the Lord to cleanse, the Holy Communion reminds the suffering of the Lord Jesus Christ. What He has gone through for us to have this privilege, His suffering, His death, His crucifixion, His burial, Oh, his resurrection, his ascension. Also, it remains the second coming of Jesus is imminent. We must be ready anytime. Let at this moment our hearts and mind be filled with the picture of the suffering of the Lord. Oh. From the Garden of Gethsemane to the Golgotha, the suffering of the Lord Jesus went through. Oh. Even his closest disciples failed to stand with him at that moment and he went alone and cried, Father, possible take this cup away from me but not my will, let your will be done. And the Bible says his sweating swelled like a blood drop. That shows how heavy was the sin of the world, including my sin. The way the Roman soldiers treated him. Jesus was flogged flesh from his body was shattered for our sin. Oh. They put a huge crown of thorn on his head and struck the huge thorns pierced his skull for our sin. They spat on his face. They mocked him. They slapped him. They made him half naked and came and allowed him to carry that heavy cross to the Golgotha falling many times for our sin. My brother, my sister, the huge nails went through his hands and feet for our sake. Oh. He was pierced. It, he, they given him bitter vinegar to drink. Finally, he said, it is finished. Because of that perfect finished sacrifice, we can have Holy Communion today to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we pray God's special presence upon us, Lord God. We commit the bread and juice in your hand. Bless it and sanctify. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. All those who are going to partake, kindly stand. Then you can come starting from... Starting from this side, the pastors will come at the last. Thank you. You came for 
someone like me and loved me as I am. You came for someone like me.
those who are standing any of you have not received the blood of jesus kindly come anyone you are missing let's close our eyes and partake on the night jesus was betrayed he took bread when he had given thanks broke it and said this is my body which is for you do this in remembrance of me let's partake the bread together the same way after supper he took the cup saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me let's drink from the cup too. thank you Jesus thank you Lord we worship you today we are privileged oh God to have your body and your blood as the children of the new covenant purchased by the precious blood of Jesus sustaining us under your salvation thank you Lord thank you Holy Spirit thank you Lord thank you Jesus Lord this morning as we are here can your body and your blood give us the grace to live a life which will glorify you And oh God, bread and juice is remaining on the table. It's a sign that you are going to bring people from various tribes and languages and nationalities to the house of prayer sanctuary. We will be able to partake together, oh God. Prepare us to receive them, oh God. Bless, oh God. Bless. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please take your seat. Thank you. Don't go. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. At this moment, we will take our tithe and offering, ushers. We will take our tithe and offering. Hallelujah. Thank you, church. You have been so wonderful and faithful givers in the kingdom of God in this, even this tough period. You have been so awesome in giving. May the Lord bless you. Before you give, let me pray. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done in our life. Even today, O oh God, during this offering, Lord, my prayer, as your people are setting apart their tithe and offering, or first for whatever it is, we pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, there will be thousandfold return to them, O oh God. They will not lack anything, O oh God. If anyone doesn't have today, let there be a miracle. This is the last Sunday they will lack anything to give to you. Bless O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, church, for your faithful and sacrificial giving. As you are preparing to give, if you are able, just to stand five minutes. We are going to have, before the man of God comes, three minutes to just to worship the Lord. Just to worship the Lord for three minutes. Just three minutes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just as we worship, the heaven is going to open for us. Thank you, Lord. Heaven is going to open for us. The burdens you have carried, the sickness you have carried, the pain you have carried must go from here. Tell the Lord, Lord, I want you to extend your hands towards me. I want you to touch me. Oh, hallelujah. I want you to touch. I want you to take that burden away from me in the name of people are longing for the presence of God my beloved child the presence of God is here the Lord is ready to touch hallelujah thank you Holy Spirit thank you Lord oh Jesus just for these few minutes if we could just join in 
one accord, just lift your hands. If you can, just lift your hands. Mm. If it's healing that you need, just lift your hands. If it's a touch in any area of your life that you need, just lift your hands. Just in agreement, in just one accord, just for this few minutes, just to experience the moment of the Father. Just experience the moment of the Father. somebody at home at sick to right now the, the Lord is touching the person believe have faith and believe and release a healing upon the person or maybe you carried some burdens and it has been devastating and you have been broken till the Lord wanted to lift it up God wanted to restore you restore you restore you Jesus hallelujah the restore hallelujah putting things back to the original the Lord is doing marvelous 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we want to say thank you. Bless our God. Thank you for your presence. Use your servant in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen, and amen, and amen. Please take your seat. Hallelujah. As I mentioned this morning, we are so blessed to have a Apostle Peter Sangasa with his entire family visiting us from Zimbabwe. Apostle has come with uh, his new wife, Pastor Great Sangasa. Mom, would you please stand so that you can at least the mom is the Apostle's wife, Pastor Grace. The pastor will be ministering on our Miracle Night service online and also uh, come with their daughter, Faith Sangasa. Where are Faith? Please stand. It's a Faith. And also one of their spiritual daughter, Edith Kalumbira. Kalumbira, amen. So welcome. May the Lord bless you. I think since the man of God come from this far, can we give 10 extra minutes? Is it okay? Yes. Apostle is agreed. So at least you have a 40 minutes. You can look at the 40, 40 uh, minutes. At least uh, uh, 10 past 11. Let's put our hands together. Welcome Apostle Peter Sangasa to minister the word. Amen. Amen. Welcome man of God. Welcome. Amen. Thank you so much, men of God. May we, shall we put our hands together for the angel of the house? Uh, Pastor Joseph and Mama, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Uh, I also want to acknowledge uh, Pastor Peter um, this morning and congratulations for your graduation yesterday. Amen. It has been God's plan for us to be here. We did not know many years ago, but we thank God that we are here today. Amen. Um, without wasting much time, uh, can I pull this up a little bit then? Uh, and I'll take it back. I trust that the social distance and you know, masks are going to help in the process. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, we are so thankful men of God, and the leadership of the church for receiving us. Warmly, we already feel at home. If we just met you, talked to you like we did yesterday, packed our bags and go home, we were so blessed just uh, by the interaction yesterday. Thank you so much. May the Lord uh, bless you. Amen. Today, I would like to minister on the subject I entitled the three levels uh, of power that God has availed to the church. The three levels of power that God has availed to the church. I would like you to read with me from the book of Job chapter number 12, verse number 13. Job chapter number 12, verse number 13. The Bible reads, to God belongs wisdom and power. Counsel and understanding are his. To God belongs wisdom and power. Counsel and understanding are his. Again, we will take a reading from Job chapter 27, verse number 11. Job 27, verse number Eleven. Let me just give you a minute to locate that while I put my iPad on where it will not switch off for me. Okay. I will teach you about the power of God, the ways of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the living God. Um, when we are born again and we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior, our introduction into the kingdom was graced by power. For the Bible says in John chapter, uh, uh, John chapter number 1 verse number 12, 
For all who received him, he gave them the power to become sons and daughters of God. So the day you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, you were welcomed by a package of power. Glory be to the name of the living God. May somebody say, I received power. May somebody say, I received power. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the living God. So we need to know that we carry this power inside of us that we received after the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ when he said it is finished. Glory be to the name of the living God. So every believer need to know that uh, there is available power to serve God. There is available power for protection. There is available power to be offensive against the kingdom of the devil. Glory be to the name of the living God. Hallelujah. But there is something that we also need to know for this power to work well in our lives. Our perception of the provision of God will determine what we receive and how that power works in our lives. Somebody say perception. Glory be to the name of the living God. In relationships, many suffer and uh, difficulties, hurts, and so forth. And the reason is not necessarily that there is anything really big that has happened which is wrong, but uh, in many cases, it is how people perceive things. So the way you see things will eventually affect you. So in other words, what you see is important, but the way you see what you see is even more important than what you see. Because your reaction, hallelujah, your response to what you see, to what you receive, is going to help you or is going to distract you and it is going to cause a certain form of action in your life. Hallelujah. May somebody say with me, the way I see things is very important. Hallelujah. Even when we talk about the issue of power, hallelujah, that God has given us, some children of God may see and think that this power is more available to the clergy. It is more available to the pastors. It is more available to the elders. So if you perceive it like that's how you receive it, and that's how it becomes available to you. Not because God is not provided, but your perception can begin to limit you. I pray by God's grace today that uh, your perception is not going to limit you from receiving that which God has prepared for you in the name of Jesus. Glory be to the name of the living God. Hallelujah. I believe that today we are going to be charged by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Such that as we continue in our walk with Christ, we will walk with power. I'm not suggesting that we, are not, we have not been walking in power. But I'm only saying that, uh, you know, you will receive, hallelujah, even another dose of what that which you have received and you have in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, yes, that's my portion today. I want to quickly address and answer this question. Why do you need this power of the Holy Ghost in your life? Why do you need these three levels of power in your lives? Why is it necessary? Why is it important for you to receive these levels of power in your lives? Number one, because we live in a wicked world. The world that we live in is a wicked world. Glory be to the name of the living God. So according to Psalm 74 verse number 20, hallelujah, the Bible says we live in a wicked world. There are times when wickedness is going to interact with you. When things that you did not expect are going to happen to you, to your children, to your family, to your business, hallelujah, to your practice, whatever you find yourself doing because we live in a wicked world. Therefore, you need power to be able to deal with those things, to be able to dismiss all the wickedness that the devil 
brings your way. Hallelujah. It may be your marriage that suffers an attack. It may be your health that suffers an attack. It may be your job that suffers an attack. But you need this power that is provided by God for you to survive in a world of wickedness. Number two, why do you need this power? Why do you need this power? We will need this power. We need this power for us as children of God to be exempted from the evils of the day. Glory be to the name of the living God. Psalm number 20, when you read Psalm number 20 from verse number 1 up to verse number 7, you will find where the Bible says, may help come from the sanctuary of the Lord to you in your day of trouble. So there are some times when trouble is going to come our way, not because we invite it, but because there is a day when trouble, when tragedy, when situations, when accidents, when you bump into satanists, when wickedness and powers of darkness will try to attack you. But I pray and declare over your life, help shall come from above when the day comes for you in the name of the living God. May the God you serve send help from his sanctuary when the day of trouble comes. Glory be to the name of the living God. I'm here to declare to you that when the day of trouble comes, you are safe and secure because there is a guarantee from your heavenly father that there is help that shall come from above in the name of the living God. Somebody say, heavenly father, I receive help from above in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Number three, why do you need this power? Why do you need this power? In the journey of life, some of us are privileged, hallelujah, to come from good backgrounds, hallelujah. And some of us do not come from very good backgrounds. And uh, as the result, many times we need breakthroughs. Even as a church, we need certain breakthroughs. Even as individuals, you need certain breakthroughs. Even as a business, you need certain breakthroughs. Now, for you to be able to receive these breakthroughs, you need this power from on high. You need this power from the living God that will help you whenever the devil puts a road block for you. Hallelujah. You go by the power in the anointing of the Holy Ghost and you say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. It does not matter what the devil does. It does not matter what he fashions. But greater is he that he is in my life than the one that he is in the world. And by the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, we are more than conquerors. We are overcomers. No matter the matter. Because Jesus lives in us the hope of glory. Glory be to the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Somebody say, yes, I need a breakthrough. Somebody say, yes, I need a breakthrough. It doesn't matter how educated we are, we need breakthroughs in life. It doesn't matter how rich we are, we need breakthroughs in life. It doesn't matter how poor we are, we need breakthroughs in life. And it takes the power. It is the power. power. The power. The power of the whole Ghost. It is the power, power, power of the Holy Ghost. Glory be to the name of the living God. The evil forces, they need the power of the Holy Ghost. Glory be to the name of the living God. So, number four, why do we need, number four, why do we need why do we need this power? We need this power of the Lord for us to be able to destroy every form of stagnation in life. There are times when you make progress and there are times when you get to a place where you discover that the progress that you are making 
uh, is not matching, hallelujah, what is supposed to happen in your life. When you will read in the word of God according to 1 Corinthians chapter 16, the Bible says, Paul is talking, and he says, a great door is opened for me by God. There are many adversaries who do not want me to benefit, who do not want me to enjoy, who do not want me to experience the breakthroughs that God has given me. When God provides opportunities, when God provides projects, when God provides tenders, when God provides many different things in our lives, the enemy many times he will arise and he will bring about obstacles. But by the power of the Holy Ghost, you will be able to overcome all of that in the name of the living God. I declare and decree today by the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, no door that the Lord has opened for you shall be closed for you by the devil in the name of the living God. I see you marching into every door because God has opened it for you in the name of Jesus. Even when Daniel prayed, the Bible says, in no time God answered. But the demonic forces intercepted his answer. And for 21 days, it did not reach him. Glory be to the name of the living God. Whatever the enemy was holding up, Hallelujah. Against you, I pray in the name of Jesus. May it be released to you. May your finances come. May your healing come. May your business come. May your marriage flourish. May your children go far. May, you, your, your, may, may your company that you began begin to flourish right now in the name of the living God. Somebody say, yes, it's my time. Say it like you believe it. Say, yes, it's my time. Glory be to the name of the living God. Why do you need this power? Why do you need this power? These three levels of power that I'm going to be talking about. You need three levels of power in order to do great exploits in the kingdom. We are called to do great exploits in the kingdom. According to Daniel chapter 11, verse number 32. Those who know their God shall do great exploits. We are sons and daughters of God that can do exploits in the kingdom. Some are called to be evangelists. You will go and you evangelize in power. May you arise and go and do exploits. Even in the company where you work, go and do exploits for the Lord. When you are in the mission where you are sent by the government, may you go and do exploits the kingdom. We are all called to do exploits in the kingdom of God. Glory be to Jesus. Somebody say I'll do exploits. Somebody say I'll do exploits. In the name of Jesus. Shepherding other children of God. Hallelujah. That's what we have been called to do. When new members come, it is your responsibility. It is my responsibility. If they work with me, if they live near me, to shepherd them. And we need to do great exploits in the kingdom. And may God help us by the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say, I'll do exploits. Somebody say, I'll do great exploits. Whether the devil likes it or not. Hallelujah. Now I want to I want to talk about the three types of or three levels of power that God has availed for us. The first one is what I'm going to describe or remind you of because I know you know these things. Hallelujah. It is what is called the exousia power. Exousia is a Greek word. Hallelujah. It is called the exousia power. E X O U-S-I-A Exousia power We God is availed to us The exousia power Hallelujah Glory be to the name of the living God What exousia simply means It means delegated authority Hallelujah Delegated power It is like a, the power In which a police officer Functions in It is like the power That the magistrates function in. Hallelujah. When you look at a magistrate, when you look at a police officer, some of them are small in stature, but they have the authority that if they are handling your case, 
if they say you are sentenced to jail, you can actually go to jail. Hallelujah. It doesn't really have to do with the stature of the individual. It has to do with the authority that has been invested upon them by the government of the nation. Somebody say, I thank God for exusia power. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the living God. Now, this power is the power that we were given when we received Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. As a small police officer stands by the highway and when you're driving your beautiful car and you're even driving a big truck, 30-ton truck, and it happens that the police officer goes in the middle of the, uh, of the road and he raises his hand to stop you. No matter how powerful you are, no matter how educated you are, no matter what load you are carrying, how heavy it is, you prepare to stop because authority is standing in front of you. God has given us authority to stand against demonic forces. God has given us authority to stand against sicknesses. God has given us authority to stand against every wild of the devil. We can stand right there and we can resist the devil and he shall flee away from us because the Bible says operate and function in your authority and resist the devil and he shall flee away. I see the devil fleeing wherever he was fighting you. Arise as a child of God and say, I operate by the exousia power of God. When you look at me, I may not be very educated. When you look at me, I may not be a pastor. When you look at me, you know, I, I may not know many scriptures, but there's one thing that I know. I operate by the exousia power of the Lord. When witches come to my house at night, I call the name of Jesus uh, and I know and I believe uh, I have power to cast out devils glory be to the name of the living God God has given us this power that we need to operate in and today I have just come to remind you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you know when wickedness arises hallelujah you have power to stop cases that cause people not to be uh, married in your family. I see you, you rising up. The way people die year after year, you can rise up as a child of God and say, I'm born again. I'm connected to Jesus. I represent the kingdom of heaven and I'm saying no to this nonsense of the devil. My children shall live holy lives. My children shall be married. It shall be well with those that are around me. Why? I'm taking authority. Because God has given me authority. Glory be to the name of the living God. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage you today to go and operate and function in the power God has given you. They have told you stories about your family. It is all right. It may be true. But I have come to remind you, your heavenly father has given you exousia power. He has given you delegated power. When they look at you, they say you are a single mother. It's not about being single. When they look at you, they say you are an orphan. It's not about being orphan. It is about the one that you received. Who lives in you? Somebody say, I have power. I'll function in power. This time around, I want you to be charged to go and stop certain things in your lives, in your family, in the mighty name of Jesus. People are dying of cancer. It needs somebody who is here who is going to represent their family. And they say, enough of the nonsense of the devil. I'm coming by the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Luke chapter number 4, verse number 32. Luke chapter number 4, verse number 32. The Bible says they were all astonished at his doctrine for his word was with power. This is the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Luke chapter number 4, verse number 32. And they were astonished at his doctrine for his words were with power. When he spoke, he spoke with authority. As a child of God, you have been mandated by God to speak with authority. Hallelujah. We charge you today. Speak into your vision with authority. Speak about the promises God has given you with authority. Begin to declare those things by faith even before they have materialized as if they were 
Because you speak with authority from above. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now this kind of power that we are talking about is a very interesting power that every child of God has. But uh, you know, you, you need to know, we need to know something as well. When you read according to Matthew chapter number 9 verse number 8, the Bible says, when, now when the multitudes saw it, they marveled and glorified God who had given such power to men. God gives this type of power to men. Glory be to the name of the living God. A miracle had occurred. And when people looked at that, they said, wow, does God give such power to men? And I'm here to tell you, to remind you, our heavenly father gives this, uh, this exousia power to men and women that are living in the last days. Glory be to the name of the living God. Somebody shout and say, yes, I'm one of them. Shout loud and say, yes, I'm one of them. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, there is a bit of a problem with exousia power. Somebody say problem. There is a bit of a problem with exousia power. Exousia power can be corrupted. Exousia power, hello, can be abused. Exousia power can be challenged. If we take the example of the police, with all their authority, it takes one drunkard to come in full speed. And the policeman stands like this. And the driver ignores the rules of the road and they run over them. Even though they have the power, the authority, even though they have the authority, it can be challenged. That's why you need to take it to another level. Glory be to the name of the living God. Hallelujah. In some cases, I was reading uh, stories in South Africa when some judges, hallelujah, had given certain sentences, but the next morning they were found dead because some of the crooks and the torties went and put the trigger on them and they shot them dead. They had authority, but they died. Hello? So what am I saying to a child of God? The exousia level is a good level, but you need to know and you need to understand that you need to get to another level of authority in the name of Jesus. Are we together children of God? Hallelujah. When we are talking about this, are we, are we, what are we talking about? We are talking about growth. You need to grow from glory to glory. From level to level. We sing that song. Hallelujah. He took me from here. He put me here. And he put me there. We are people that are always going from glory to glory. I want to appetize you today. Hallelujah. If you are operating on a Xuzia level for you to get to the next level. In Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. During during uh, 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 during uh, political uh, political unrest and uh, campaigns and, and, and during, I remember at our Zimbabwe University sometimes when the students were rioting the police would come with all their gear and they would, they would, they would fire some cans of uh, uh, tear gas and some of the students would put a cloth around their faces and they pick the tear gas and they throw it back to the police. They are some demons that are aggressive, that would want to fight. But all you need is to change the gear and get to another level. Glory be to the name of the living God. Somebody say, Lord, take me to another level. Somebody say, Lord, take me to another level. Now, the second level of power is the power that is called endunamo power. Endunamo. Hallelujah. Endunamo power. Somebody say endunamo power. End N E D U N A M O N D U N A M O power. These are Greek words, the words that I, I'm using. Hallelujah. So that it makes uh, uh, easier. Now, what does N D U N A M O mean? It means infused power. Glory be to the name of the living God. An object which is taken and it is packaged 
with power. Glory be to Jesus. When you look at it, it doesn't look powerful. Hallelujah. But when you temper with it, you will be in trouble. Glory be to the name of the living God. That's the power that is available for believers in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God has infused us with the endonamo power. Hallelujah. To ensure that with supernatural power, we will be able to deal with all the wiles of the devil. We will be able to deal with all the challenges the enemy is going to bring your way against your family, against your business, against your education. There are some people that are very educated. They can't get jobs. Hallelujah. I prophesy today you will get your job in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, in Dunamo power, uh, I'll, I'll give some examples when, when, when for the, the cars that we use. Hallelujah. All of them, they operate by battery. Hallelujah. There is a battery inside. When you look at a battery, it doesn't look powerful, but there is power inside it, which has been stored inside it. Glory be to the name of the living God. Now, when you have a very expensive car, which does not have a battery, the problem is uh, you can be stuck because the battery is flat. Hello? Are we together children of God? Hallelujah. So, this can also be exemplified by the dynamite power. Hallelujah. Which is packaged in small, small packages. When you look at it, I remember when we were building one of our homes, you know, there were rocks and these guys would come. They would come with this string and there is that small thing which they put inside the hole and, and then they light it and they run away and, and in no time, you'll hear the blast going boom. Hallelujah. Because in this small package which looks useless, there is dynamite power which is inside. I want the children of God, in your life, there is the dynamite power of God. Whoever touches you, hallelujah, you blow devils in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you blow devils. You change situations. You change situations. You change circumstances. Even places where they said it's hard like a rock. May the Lord send you there when you arrive. Hallelujah, the trigger is going to be lit by the Holy Ghost. And when you begin to blow in prayer, all the witches shall be scattered. The Bible says they may come, seven of them in one way. But when you begin to say, Rakataba, Yandere Moka, Yeboda, Suda, Brade, Bebo, Yakata, Rabade, they will disappear in seven different directions. Why? There is dynamite power in us. When the enemy attacks and we call upon the name Jesus, even when you are in your sleep, if you just say in the name of Jesus, you release dynamite power. We carry this in this earthen vessels. We need to have a good perception of this power that we carry. We look simple. We look ordinary. We eat what they eat. We live in the same communities, but we carry a certain amount of power. That's why we are not afraid of Satanists. That's why we are not afraid of witches. That's why we are not afraid of wizards. That's why we are not afraid in the name of Jesus. Even when we are called to a house that is haunted by demons, people cannot live there. When we go there, it's not because we have anything special. But we are carrying the dynamite inside. When we when we when, when we when we arrive there, Rika ta 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 ta, randa raba kazada baraba, and the devils know this is not territory. Hallelujah! This is not their territory because power has arrived. Such power is in your life. In the name of Jesus, glory be to the name of the living God. In the interest of time, Hallelujah! This power also has problems. This power also has problems. When the battery is not charged or when it is not used, it discharges, even if it is new. If we go to a place where they sell batteries and we buy a battery and we put it there and we leave it there for two years, when we put it on the transport, it will not work. What happened? Where did the power go? It discharged. 
What does it mean to you and me? When you are given this power and you are in the house of the Lord and you don't use this power to prophesy, you don't use this power to evangelize, you don't use this power to preach in home groups, you don't use this power to witness at a working place, you don't use this power to talk about Jesus wherever you are, you begin to lose it even though it was loaded in you. You may carry I don't know whether you have Excite battery here. What type of batteries for car? What's the name? Excite. You have Excite. The label is the Excite battery. But this battery has not been working. So it has lost power. Today by the power of the Holy Ghost. I have come to encourage some children of God here. May you begin to go and use this power. Because you, if you don't use it, you will lose it. You will have the name Pentecostal. You will have the name child of God. You will have the name born again. You will have the man Christian, but without power. Paul talks about having the form of godliness, but lacking the power. It happens many times. The reason why many believers don't operate in power is because they take too long without using the power. Whatever you do not use, you begin to lose. Hallelujah. Somebody say, from today, from today, I'll use my power. Hallelujah. I'll use my power. When you are driving, you say, oh, which is in my way, out in the name of Jesus. Lord, create a passage for me. Use the power so that it, begin, it continues to operate in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Our batteries need to be charged. I was talking about to someone who who, who uses those, uh, what do you call them? The dynamites. And they told me that it needs to be used in a certain time. After some time, it expires. Even though it's written dynamite. After some time. You can't keep a dynamite for 100 years and say, this is what my uh, grand-grandfather had. Now we must use it. It might not work. It loses its power with time. It needs to be used. In the name of Jesus. In conclusion, hallelujah. In conclusion, I have five minutes according to the time that I'm given. I'm going to talk about the last type of power. Glory be to the name of the living God. Which is called the Katros power. Somebody say Katros power. Somebody say Katros power. Glory be to the name of the living God. Now, the Katros power, it is an elusive power. It is an offensive power. Hallelujah. Now, what happens when you get to a dynamite? No matter how powerful it is, you can handle it in your hands. Hallelujah. You can put it in your pocket. You can carry the battery with all its power and it will do nothing to you. But when we talk about a cutthroat power, we are talking about elusive power. It's like electricity. Hallelujah. When you touch it, that's why they must cut it. That's why they must close the wires. Because if they don't, hallelujah, it is offensive. When you touch it, it hits back. God has given us a power that can hit back to the kingdom of the devil. In the name of Jesus, whoever touches you, hallelujah, I like the Nigerians. They said, I'm the Holy Ghost naked wire. Hallelujah. If you touch me, I'm going to shock you. Hallelujah. Because we carry that power in our lives. May you operate in that power in the name of Jesus. Wheresoever you shall go, if they have done anything wicked against you, may it go back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, things shall backfire because you carry the cutthroat power of God in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. By this power, you will be able to challenge anything. Hallelujah. You know, the devil must not always think that he can challenge you anyhow, anywhere. But just challenging you can be a trouble, can be a problem by itself. Because you carry so much power in the name of Jesus. I want to encourage you today, even as I'm concluding because of my time. This power is here today in the name of Jesus. This power is here to heal. Even where you are right now, this cutthroat power is the cut power that uh, when... Paul and the others were praying. It will be transmitted through aprons. Hallelujah. 
it will be transmitted through aprons. It will be transmitted through handkerchiefs. It will be transmitted through objects. Hallelujah. This power can be transmittable. Hallelujah. Why? Because we carry such power. When a witch comes to sit in your chair, in your office, because they want to do their enchantment, may they be shocked by that catros power. Because the residue of the power has remained on your chair in your office. The residue of the power has remained on your door. When a wicked man touches the handle of your door, may something happen to them. And they feel this is wrong address. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, even as I am standing here right now, I release Catros power to heal those that are sick. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the grace and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, if there are people that are in situations, I pray right now and declare your situation is turning around. In the mighty name of Jesus, your breakthrough is coming by the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. It's your time. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the living God. Men of God, time does not allow me to go beyond this. Hallelujah. But I feel there are people that God is charging with the power of the Holy Ghost right now. You might have been a battery that was kind of flat. But right now, even as I am speaking, the power is touching you. The power is reaching you. The power is energizing you. The power is changing your life. The power is restoring you. The power is taking you back to where you need to be. In the name of Jesus. Men of God, my time is up. So I, I must end the microphone. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless amen. you. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Apostle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Are we blessed? Are we blessed? Hallelujah. If you are blessed, give one more wonderful shout of applause to appreciate our God. Uh, man of God, Apostle, so much. Receive the power this morning. Hallelujah. Shall we all stand? Hallelujah. As we stand, the ushers from the building committee for those who are visiting, don't be surprised. We take it to offering the second. We don't look at people. We don't ask anyone. The second offering completely goes towards the construction of the sanctuary. If the Lord has given you something, we don't look, we don't ask. As the offering bags are passed, you are free to drop. If you have nothing done for us. Close your eyes. Hallelujah. Close your eyes and pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. We give you glory. As the ushers of the building committee, building committee team are moving, just as the Lord, Lord, thank you for the word which has released to us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What a great God we serve. He release the power, uh, exousia power, the dynamic power, the katros power to strengthen us. Oh, hallelujah. Man of God, we thank you, thank you, thank you. Meditate, meditate on that word which has given. May the power which you needed right now to be activated so that you are able to defeat the enemy who is fighting. As we are worship team, you can come and take your position. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. To the Lord, 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 thank you. Hallelujah. If the devil is challenging you, if a sickness is challenging you, is it your marriage under attack? Is it your future is under crisis? Oh, Your education is under crisis. Your children are under attack. Your ministry is suffering today. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying, I have, re I have released the power. I have already done my job. Hallelujah. My son, my daughter, I have done my job. Hallelujah. Can you tap it? And you activate it. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. Thank you for the word. You sent the word of God from Harare to Intola to speak to us. Hallelujah. It is not an accident, oh God. It is planned in eternity. And this morning, in total obedience to you, are calling the servant of God. He has released what to whom, what you have deposited, Lord. We receive as a church. We receive as a church. We are living this sanctuary with that authority. Hallelujah. That authority, oh God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Once again, this reminding us. We are not a people whom devil can play around. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Protect your people. Even we commit to the servant of God and his family and the team. So traveling back to Harare, we pray till they reach their home. On the road, what the Lord, everywhere you will protect them, O God. No breakdown, no accidents. No delay, even at the border, O oh God. And we commit to the ministry, O oh God, in Hadare. We pray God's blessing, O oh Jesus, God's blessing. They will have more testimonies, more testimonies, more testimonies, O oh God, coming. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I don't know, Apostle, God is just reminding me to tell you, when you reach your church, this is the second January, February, March, April, May, the second month of the second quarter. Before the last month of second quarter, that is June, finishes, there is a heavenly surprise is coming to your territory. Thank you, Lord. There is a heavenly surprise. Even the Lord says, even including your children's future, there's a supernatural doors. Thank you, Father. Supernatural door. The Lord is telling me to encourage the servant of God. You have been praying and planning and trusting God for one of your child to have a certain this. And the Lord says today to tell my servant, it is done in the name of Jesus. I don't know what it is, but the Lord says to me to tell you, it is done. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But expect a super heavenly surprise before the June this year. Father, we thank you. We pray for that heavenly surprise upon house of prayer congregation. As they have given sacrificially to the building, bless our God. We commit the rest of the week ahead of us. Protect us safe. Cover us from COVID-19, any confusion, any accidents, any premature death, any sicknesses. Lord, we pray your people are blessed. Ministering angels, thank you, Lord. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless you richly. Have a wonderful week. Don't forget our uh, Miracle Night Service Wednesday, 18 hours on online. And uh, our Pastor Grace will be ministering. Apostle team, we are blessed. Amen. Thank you for the word we received. Let's enjoy the final song from the worship team. Amen.
Every Thank you. 